Hello? Hello? What's going on, bro? Hey, man, I was calling because, uh, sure, I was just sitting at the house board, man. I was saying if y'all wanted to go out today. It's like 7 o'clock. I mean, shoot, I was just thinking whatever, bro. Niggas, niggas bored, bro. I'm bored at the crib. I'm just trying to get out. Yeah, I look forward to what? All right, then, man, I feel you. I'll talk to you later then, bro. All right. Show yourself. So you come to face me, huh? Well, I hope you come prepared. I didn't need to. My father was all I needed. He was the only thing that I was ever missing. And the crazy thing is, the fact that I was missing him made me leave room for something worthless just like you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm worthless. Me? You speak of me as this worthless one? Well, answer me this. If I'm so worthless, what are you? What are you? How will you ever be happy in your life? You remember when I visited you at the park? Do you remember everything I told you? That was true, right? You believe me. So come on, man. Don't sit here and pretend like I told you some type of lie. I was there for you every time that you didn't have anyone, right? You aren't happy. You never will be happy. No one's there for you. No one loves you. You have no job, you have no loved ones, you have no clothes, no shoes, no nothing. You have nothing. You are worth nothing. And you call me worthless. You know, Dale, I've watched you ever since you were a little kid. I've always watched you. And when I finally got to you, you were comfortable with me. I kept you comfortable. All those years, all those days, all those lonely nights, I was there with you, huh? Who else was? Who else? And now you come and speak to me like I'm your enemy. You got some confidence. I wonder where this confidence came from just out of nowhere, Odell. Who is this person that you're becoming? You're nothing like the Odell that I've known all these years. You can't possibly find peace without me. Liar. So I'm a liar, huh? Now you call me a liar. You know me. You know me more than anything. I've comforted you, I've made you feel okay, I've made you think things that were the truth, right? You know that you're talking nonsense right now, you know this isn't the truth. You're not yourself today, Odell. Let's go back to normal. Let's go order some Domino's, let's go sit in the car, eat some pizza, think about your ex, think about how much you want her back. Come on, man, you know it's the truth, you know it's what you want to do. How about we go cry together and just stay together, huh? That's your favorite one, right? 
How about we look at all your past loved ones, huh? Let's look at all your dead loved ones, all the ones that you wish you could save. And let's just meditate together that you couldn't save them. Let's just meditate together that there's nothing you can do for anyone. Let's just meditate about how worthless you are. You couldn't do anything right because you're mine. That's why you couldn't do anything right because you're mine. Now I'm going to say this one more time. Let's go back to normal. And you just get on your knees and bow to me. Like you always did. Father, I trust you. Please give me strength and wisdom. No. I serve a new master from this day forward. You will no longer have your grip on me, demon. Because my God stands above me and he stands around me wherever I walk. His spirit stands within me wherever I stand. And I had to sit and realize myself that I had a God that loved me past my mistakes. Loved me past my foolish tendencies. I had a God that will never leave me. Even when I was ashamed of myself, even when I couldn't even stand to look at myself in the mirror, even when I couldn't even stand to face what I've done to my own life, to my own mind, to my own spirit, even when I couldn't even stand to face myself, he loved me and he cleansed me and he rebirthed me and he strengthened me and he made me powerful beyond anything I could ever imagine. And when I sat and realized that he loved me and he wouldn't leave me, I definitely realized that I can love myself. <laughs> and you know what? You're right. No one is standing here with me in human form. Physically, I'm all alone. But I'm still standing here. You see me. I'm standing here. I'm standing strong and I'm standing with the spirit of God. So does it look like I need someone with me? Huh? Yeah, at some point in time, I was so weak to where I couldn't even face to be alone with my own thoughts. I couldn't even face to be alone with my own self. I was so disgusted with who I was and who I became. So yeah, I couldn't even stand to be alone. I see where I come from and I know where I come from and I see where I am now. And I stand on my foundation. I stand where I am now. And I believe in something now. More than I've ever believed in anything. I've had a lot of lonely nights. I had a lot of people look down on me. I had a lot of people look at me shamefully. People look at me like they were disgusting. I've seen it. I've seen how people change. But I never not once seen my God change. Never. You speak of my dead loved ones. You speak of the people who walked out on me. You speak of all my life situations. Yeah, you must have studied pretty close. But I tell you one thing that you don't know worth anything. You don't know anything about. You don't know my father. You don't know my God, you worthless demon. Because if you did, you know that you've already lost. Even when people were disgusted with me, my God looked at me and he was in love. My God was in love with me when people hated me. My God stood with me when people didn't believe in me. And no matter what else you say to me, I'll always know. I'll always know in my mind that my God's word stretches farther than your word. Because his word made light. His word stretched out the sky. His word made the land. His word made heaven. His word made the earth. His word made my body. His word made my heart, my soul, my mind. <laughs> His word goes a lot farther than yours, you worthless demon. You're a liar. Everything you say is weak. You're worthless. You're weak. Everything you say is a lie. You spoke nothing but lies to me ever since I left room for you to come into my life. My God has never spoke a lie to me. And it was because of my own weakness, because of my own weakness, that I couldn't accept the truth that God told me. 
But even when I was too weak, he gave me strength. His word is reality. And if he says that I'm his son, then I'm also reality. So best believe that I will live and die by his word, by his spirit, by his foundation. I will live and die by my father, the one who made me. I stand for the glory of God. I stand for the holiness, for the spirit of God. So you bow before me. This father that you found, Odell, you might have overpowered me now, but you just know that I will stalk you into the darkness. Until you follow me again, I will stalk you. Until you bow to me again, I will stalk you. I will never leave your sight. I will follow you everywhere you go. For the rest of your life, I will be behind you. <laughs> Crazy thing is, I already know what you're telling me. I already know all these things. <laughs> I know that you won't stop. But it's something that you don't know. I won't stop neither. And as long as I keep going, that'll be the longer that you stay below my foot. You worthless demon. Now be gone with you. In the name of the Father. Ah. <sighs>